The biometric registration of public servants that kicked off yesterday is a cause to worry not only for the ghost workers themselves, but employers as well. Speaking at the launch of the exercise in her ministry today, Devolution Cabinet Secretary Anway Guru says that employers who will be found to have been entertaining ghost workers will also be dealt with. Action will be taken against the people who have actually been entering those names in the system. So the action will be according to the law. There is the law that um, will apply on ethics, integrity and anti-corruption. And also we will make ensure that uh, where anyone has been receiving more than one salary, for example, that that money is actually recovered. Uh, by the government. So the necessary laws will be applied to ensure that action is taken against them. She said the biometric registration will help determine the exact number of public servants and claims the payroll at both the national and the county levels. The total number of civil servants is about 655,000. In the core civil service, about 120,000. So that's what we expect to cover in the next uh, one month. We will be expanding to the teachers, to the military and the disciplined forces, and uh, also to the county governments, and we'll cover the entire 655. Information Communication Technology Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi also launched a similar exercise in his ministry, saying it will put to an end the trend where additional employees appeared on payrolls immediately after a head count. Counting public servants from 1984 up to today, we are still counting public servants. It means that the systems we have used in the past, the manual counting of people, warm bodies on the ground, has not worked. We count people and as soon as we have written down our figures and we've gone, new ones arrive or, or new ones are manufactured. And even as the exercise kicked off in earnest, a group calling itself the County Workers Union today emerged to oppose the exercise, saying it will lead to massive layoffs. Somebody who has been in this county for 37 years and you tell him you are a ghost worker because he couldn't have the ID, uh, he could not produce the ID certificate on him on that day. I mean, or a birth certificate, first letter of appointment, where? It's even unreasonable. I don't know where people who write these things are people from around or maybe they are recent entry from the moon. The first phase of the exercise running from July to October this year 2014 entails data collection. Phase two that runs from November this year to June 2015 will involve restructuring of government functions. From July 2015 to June 2016, the program will enter its third phase, which will be characterized by redeployment, transfers, and retrenchment. Thereafter, it will enter the fourth phase, which entails re-engineering and capacity building. Brenda Kipono, Channel One News.